Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Do here, and today we're going to get back on that shabby experience that is Icarus. And today, we're going to talk about light sources that go in or on the house. We talked about handheld light sources the other day, and now we're going to talk about all the indoor stuff. So, let's talk about costs first, okay? Let's go into tier one. Uh, and I made a mistake in the other video. This wood torch here is actually a handheld torch. I thought this was a wall torch when I first looked at it, because I could have sworn there was two different types of wall torches, so... I don't know if that changed from like the first two weeks of beta or not, but I definitely remembered it wrong at the very least. So I'll show you that too. But we've got the floor torch in tier one. And obviously we got fire pits and campfires, but I'm just kind of omitting those because it's not, uh, these are for cooking. So I don't want to include like cooking sources like the fireplace and whatnot. I want to talk about the actual just straight lights and lights only non-secondary sources. And we're going to tier two. We actually have the wall torch right here. And then we have the brazier. I like to call them braziers, though. I know that's wrong, but it's fun. We got braziers. And then in tier three, we have the basic wall light and the ce basic ceiling light. And then in tier four, we have directional work lamp and the omnidirectional, okay? Now, the cost of these pretty cheap. The floor torch, it's funny. This is 20 fiber, eight sticks, and eight sulfur. And a wood torch is 40 fiber. And so is a rag torch. So it costs less fiber to make a floor torch, which is weird. Um, then moving on to the wall torch. Sorry, still sick. We got wood, a little bit of leather, a little bit of sulfur, and some eight iron. The eight iron's kind of big. And then we got our brazier, and we've got 20 iron and four copper, which is a quite, it, it's not a lot, but it's, it's, it's steep early game, right? Moving to tier three. We've got more iron, six, 15 iron, six glass, 10 copper, pretty expensive. And then the ceiling light, 15, six, and 10. Again, it's the same costs for a ceiling light and a wall light. And finally, we've got, these are expensive. So we've got the directional work lip, which is five composites, 10 aluminum, five glass, and two electronics. And then the omnidirectional is 20 aluminum, five glass, 10 composites, and two electronics, okay? So let's go in order here. See, it's pretty, pretty freaking dark in the cave, huh? So let's turn on this torch out here. So you can see outside, I put it out here for a reason. I just wanted to kind of so we could see it from a distance, right? And I'm gonna hit our basic wall light here. Now look at these differences. When they're outside, one of those is a lot more visible than the other. I put one outside to see if it would work as kind of like a beacon at night, but not really, right? Like if we turn that off, look at that. So it's really just one direction. Whereas the torch, kind of like your like your handheld torches is really omnidirectional, okay? And obviously for, for these basic lights, you have to have power, okay? which is I've got a second biofuel generator here. Because you will need a separate biofuel generator if you have an electric furnace and a material processor hooked up to one, you need two. So let's move inside here. I'm gonna turn on the wall torch first. So we'll turn that on and I'm gonna turn off that light so it's nice and dark. So that's what the wall torch looks like. And actually, let me move it over just a smidge. There we go. I put it like right in the middle so we could try and get a better look at that. And that looks pretty good. So we can see it's hitting the two walls in a two by two here. So not bad. It doesn't quite reach all the way across in a three by three. And really it's kind of like a two and a half because if you see here, I have a, it's a three by two house, but I put some crooked walls in and I made it really awkwardly shaped to see kind of how light kind of travels throughout a house, right? So we can see with this one torch on the wall, it actually does a pretty decent job. So just two of those would light up a, a two by three and one can light up a two by two pretty decently. Now let's turn on our floor torch that I also have in here. All that together looks pretty good. Let's turn the wall torch off. Look at that. One floor torch is in the middle of the room is much better. This is a little brighter close by obviously, but Look, this is as far away as it can really be, right in the center of the, not in the two by three here, but if you picture this as an actual three by three without the little uh, nook here missing, again, I wanted to make it awkwardly shaped, and it obviously hits above as well because it's in the middle, but it doesn't get over here in that nook, so it's not really traveling around, which is good. It means this is actually good light physics, right? So let's turn that off, and let's look at our brazier, or our brazier. Pretty garbage, huh? So, like, it's pretty low lighting. Um, it says for illuminating a large area, but if you look, this is visibly better. A floor torch is visibly better than this brazier here, which is kind of silly, honestly. For how much it costs, like, 
you'd have to like crop this up in the air to kind of make it worthwhile right so for me this is out if you're gonna put something on the floor stick with the wood torch and don't move from there now obviously this can start fires not in a wood house but in thatch houses so this would be used in a thatch house but really if you just don't have it near the wood you're gonna be fine so that's the wood torch so let's talk about the tier three let me turn that off and here we've got basic ceiling light so i'm going to turn them all on real quick just so we can uh we've got a wall light okay i put three in the house look at that it looks really good in here now obviously a wall a ceiling light here is not hitting this nook nor from this wall here now let me turn off this one and you can see obviously nothing's hitting up here either so there is less upward light with all these so now if we turn that off very dark in the corner right turn this one off and look at this it's actually like these wall lights are not that great like so there's all this dark space right in front of it like you can even see here when you're looking at it it's completely dark so it's really only got a very wide cone in front of it it's all conal light so it's missing everything in the walls right there so even if you put a couple of those out really uh you're, you're missing out without the wall light so if i turn that off right pitch black let's turn that on look at that lights up this whole area back here and it's off center i put it off center for a reason because obviously it's not going to fit up here too well and look it's lighting up all this just fine it's missing up here so it doesn't travel up all obviously but you can see it's it's even hitting almost by this door like you kind of get a good little fraction of the light right there in my little cursor as you see it right there so this is honestly really good and then we, i just have the other one by the door here and again like this one it's not doing much out here but let's see what it would look like if we put one of these wall lights that looks like that's about to break probably from the storms let's put a wall a ceiling light right here all right i want to do this just together just in case people have questions on these ceiling lights so they obviously work better on a flat surface like right there you can put them on these angled surfaces but they kind of go inside in janky spots like here doesn't fit on these structures hard to see obviously in the dark let me um there we go that works nicely so you know you can't get them in these angles here or like out this way you know so really where they get is just on the edges here like this you can get it right here let's put one there and i don't know why i dropped that one i've got a floor torch right here silly me right and let's connect the electricity so again these require power so let's grab our cable and now it's illuminated so i'll grab from here and i'm just gonna route it over try and look professional right and we're in and then i'm gonna turn this one off i'm gonna turn this off and there's our ceiling light so if you're gonna put one outside hang a ceiling light like because look it's illuminating the wall there whereas this one nothing right but how, what else can we do with these basic wall lights right i want to make sure we look at every avenue in which we can use these so if i take eight here even though they go on the wall they actually go on the ceiling here you see this crazy right so if i put one let's try it here and let's take our connection and let's turn it on so now that it's angled up and this wall light is actually acting as a ceiling light it's not bad it's still not as good as this like you can see the difference in the lighting but if you position these a little bit better you can use them now why would you i don't know honestly the, the costs they're the same 15 6 10 15 6 10 so in my opinion these basic wall lights are indeed basic and they don't deserve to be used these ceiling lights are much better brighter and all you have to do is attach them to something so that's my two cents on that now let's turn these off that off that's off that's off come inside here turn this off all right pitch dark again let's turn on our directional work lamp okay so again directional so everything behind it is dark that's why i kind of put it in this corner here because i wanted to emphasize how bright it is so you can see nothing behind it of course but here it does a really good job of what's in front of it so if you have like a squarish size house building one of these and putting them in a corner like this let me turn my rag on so if we if you put it in a direct corner it's one it's cheaper right so if we go to tier four 
This requires five composite. It's 10552, right? For aluminum glass composites electronics. This is 2510 so it costs double the aluminum and double the composites. And composites are, are not something to be used lightly, really. So if I come back in here, here's my lamp. So if I put this back here, for instance, remember it faces the way you're facing. So I'll put it right there. And let me just grab... Uh, I, this whole thing's a mess, so it's... There we go. Put that on. Turn that off. So you can see here, this will pretty much light up a 3x2 or 2x3. Not well once you get to this last, like, far corner here. But if you have stuff in the corner, it's not going to be as big of a deal. So, you know, it is one way to get a cheaper light source when you want electricity. But let's talk about this omnidirectional work lamp. Let's turn that off, right? Look at this thing. This thing's beautiful. You can, you can see that light. Look at that. Coming through the wood, it looks amazing. So this thing is, honestly, if you're going to do a light, it's worth paying double the directional lamp to build an omnidirectional work lamp when you're really late in the game. I still prefer the ceiling lights, honestly, just because they're cleaner. You can put them on the ceiling. They look nice, and this doesn't sit on the have to sit on the floor. But if you're in, like, say, a cave, right? So instead of being outside, or in, instead of us being inside, like how I have my cave base here, right? If I threw one of these down, which is a little bit easier to do. Well, let's put it, let's put it, like, out here in the middle. Let's try and get a good feel for this thing. Let's connect it. So I'm going to grab, I have to use this power source here because it's, uh, uh, the other one's full, so it won't actually work if I use it. So put that here and yeah, the space is getting real ugly with this cable. So I wanted to show this for a reason. This light is not good for caves because look, it's, it's because the ground's uneven, right? So it's, the light is not traveling correctly. So instead of it like kind of flowing across here, really all it does is it it floats across one like one a one a two dimensional path just straight line out. It won't go down. So it's not like a true light source like a like a lantern, you know. So even out here, it's not the greatest. So it has to be used in like a really flat area. So which is a house. And in my opinion, just using our ceiling lights here, if they're better positioned, obviously, even a wall light, like again, not great. Like it's almost the same, like it's slightly better right there. But this one ceiling light just does work. So, but that's all of my sense there. So wrapping it up, I'll come back out here. The omnidirectional light is nice, but honestly, you can get almost the same amount of power just out of a basic ceiling light. And it's so so much cheaper okay let's take one more look at that so the omnidirectional 10 composites and two electronics a ceiling light 15 iron six glass and 10 copper it's no com there's no comparison honestly this is much better in my opinion the amount of light you get and the cost so the cost to light ratio is just beautiful and look it's daytime now so that's perfect so yeah guys if you found this useful make sure you hit that like button down below leave me a comment as well telling me what your favorite preferred light source is so far i really like the wood torch it does it does work like it it lit, lights up this whole funky house and actually technically it lights the whole thing up better than one light did so <coughs> so for the early game i really like these floor torches but in the end game when you get some electricity the basic ceiling lights are nice because you can make them you can make something look aesthetically beautiful with those things so let me know in the comments below let me know what you tell me what your favorite is and also do hit that subscribe button if you are new here i'd love to see you back here again if you want to see more shabby icarus content you can hit that bell because we'll get plenty more coming but all right guys as usual this has been shabby doing up the rest of your day is not too shabby